I've got a stack of tires, tools, a box of extra parts, and my bike. Gotta make sure everything's official. Leah Stunts Asia Tour 2013. So, marking my territory. Alright, bike's loaded up, headed to the crated, and then it's gonna hit the boat. had a lovely 25-hour flight from Los Angeles to Singapore. It worked out okay because we got into Singapore at night. It was about 1 a.m. and I was super surprised to see a big poster for my show right as I exited the terminal. It's Friday morning. I'm here at local headquarters in Singapore. We are having a meeting and going over my scheduling, what's coming up for the show on Sunday, and then after my meeting, I'm going to be having some interviews with some magazines and newspapers, doing some photo shoots. So when the bike arrived in Singapore, it went straight to a shop called Ram Racing, and they were nice enough to let us use their lifts and their mechanics, helped us out to unpack the bike and put all the fluids back into it. But after we finished the performances, this motorcycle club called the Trackers Khakis took us out for a night on the town, which ended up being an amazing way to say goodbye to Singapore. Basically, they picked us up with an entourage of motorcycles, and we went to a place in Singapore called Arab Street, which was this beautiful colonial-style portion of the city, and it's actually a big hangout place for motorcyclists. Khakis! Every country we went to, we experienced a different version of the hot pot. And it's basically, you get a pile of raw food and a boiling pot to cook it in. And you cook it yourself and then eat it in whatever combination you want. MotoGP was the only performance where we were a part of a bigger show. So of course we were on other people's timetables. I had a very tight schedule in terms of when I could practice. Riding during MotoGP was super intense. You know, there were 90,000 people there throughout the weekend. Um, and the first show was definitely amazing. On Saturday, the show went so well. As I got checkered flag to leave the track, everyone in the audience started booing at the guy with the checkered flag. So. They were calling for an encore. It was an amazing feeling. So we just finished show one of MotoGP. It went awesome. The crowd was amazing. They were all spread out along the grandstand, and they all moved down to where I was riding. MotoGP was also awesome because all the representatives from Motul came to watch the races. So we had reps from all over Asia, Australia, New Zealand, um, India, and so I was able to talk to these people about stunt riding in their country, kind of the development of the sport itself. So after my shows at MotoGP, we had to package my motorcycle to take a flight over to Vietnam. Two Americans, one Singaporean, one Kawasaki, and one crate. It all has to be at the airport tomorrow to get on a flight to Vietnam. So we spent Monday creating the bike, draining all the fluids, making sure all the paperwork was correct to get it to the airport and make sure I caught its flight. In Vietnam, everyone drives a motorcycle. And it's kind of like, if you can imagine a school of fish, that's how they move. So there aren't a lot of traffic lights and people don't really stop at intersections. This goes for pedestrians, cars, and motorcycles also. Everyone just kind of pushes towards whatever way they're wanting to go. So the roundabouts are just this constant movement of traffic. And if you want to cross the street, you just have to walk out into the street and kind of play Frogger to get across the intersection, which actually works. 
So my bike made it to Vietnam, fine. We had a problem clearing it from customs though. So basically, we just waited for the entire week, day after day. Everyone had their fingers crossed that my bike would clear customs, but there was definitely the um, elephant in the room, which was, what if it didn't? And I wouldn't have a motorcycle for the performance for the whole weekend. So everyone was super tense, and basically I was trying to enjoy Saigon and be a tourist for a few days because I had a few free days, but we were all just kind of staring at the phone waiting for it to ring with some good news. Definitely by Friday night, everyone was in full freak out mode. We had no idea what was going on, and at the very last second, my bike cleared customs. So Saturday shows were monsoon free. We didn't have any rain problems and everything went perfectly. But Sunday, for the final show, the monsoon rolled in and it, there was just a torrential downpour. And everyone was kind of hanging out under the tents and the rain was just like flooding everything instantly. And one of the stunt riders, who's actually Vietnam's best stunt rider, kind of braved it and went out and started doing a few tricks and he kept crashing and falling in puddles and he was soaking wet, but the crowds were just loving it. So I figured it was my last show in Asia and I was going to go for it. So I hopped on my bike and I did the best I could and the crowds went crazy for it. And it actually, while I wasn't able to do my full performance, it kind of ended up being a fun way to close out the whole tour because it was a little bit different and exciting and everyone responded really well to it. After all the performances were done, um, Anthony and myself had a week to ourselves and we went up to central Vietnam and actually rented motorcycles and took them around the mountains. We found some ancient ruins, spent a few days on the beach and it ended up being a really quiet, nice way to close out the month. The tour for me was definitely a surreal experience. It was, you know, cumulatively all of my work I put into my career and my riding skills, um, you know, just to see it kind of manifest itself in this tour was an amazing experience. And I feel like having the, the final week in Central Vietnam just to kind of sit on the beach and take it all in was an awesome way to end the month.